Adonai. Ribbon of Shalom. Amen. Hello, this is Ron Clark bringing you Lesson 6 in the Magic of yod heh vav adonai This episode is titled Healing from Afar, and it is, quite obviously, a healing ritual. There's going to be a couple of differences in this ritual. Number one is how we go about accumulating our charge of Adonai light. We'll be going slowly through the Ani, yod heh vav adonai at each step along the way, we will be focusing on the level of awareness and then integrating each level of awareness into the next so that by the end we have a composite awareness. And we need to focus on this integration of awareness because it is very important in our accumulation. Now, when we integrate our awareness, fully in all five levels, the Adonai light erupts. And until we speak the Rabbono Shalom, it continues to flow into us as long as we have our consciousness integrated. This takes a little bit of getting used to, holding on to that integration of consciousness for a while. And we pause for a little while. It can be several seconds to several minutes if you want to get a really massive accumulation. The uh, second difference is we will be standing right next to the person we choose to heal and uh, focusing the Adonai light on them. Now the Adonai light, how we'll be using it in this uh, application is we will just be surrounding them with the Adonai light and letting their own body take from the uh, charge of Adonai light what it needs. We're not going to be directing the Adonai light into specific organs, that kind of healing. This is just letting the body take what it needs. The body knows what it needs for healing, so we're giving it the opportunity. So, <clears throat> as I said, we'll be going slowly through the Ani Yodhe Vave Adonai one breath per letter and we will focus our awareness and joining the, the awarenesses. Okay, let's start. Ani We are Kether. We are the I. Yod We are Kether coming down to Chokmah. We are the Kether Chokmah awareness. Hey Come down as Kether Hakma into Bina. Vav Kether Hakma Bina Tiferet awareness. Hey Kether Hakma Bina Tiferet Malkuth awareness. Adonai. Oh, the Adonai light spins around us and it increases, it continues to flow into our Malkuth from Kether. We have to maintain this connection between Kether, Hokma, Bina, Tiferet, and Malkuth. And this uh, charge of Adonai light grows and grows and increases and grows. And with the Rabbono Shalom, we send it out to the metaphorical edges of the universe and it rebounds upon the person we're seeking to heal. Ribbon of Shalom. Now we stand directly next to this person and we direct the Adonai light to surround this person. It densely surrounds the person, spinning round and round and round. We direct the Adonai light to give to the person whatever they need to affect their healing and we invite the person to open to the light and take from it what it needs for healing. We watch this occur. We see them taking from the Adonai light what they need to heal. 
we may see that they take the red light, or the yellow light, or the green light, or the blue light, or the purple light. Whatever they need to heal, they take from the Adonai light. We spend some time watching them take what they need, being sure that they are taking what they need from the Adonai light. And when it's time, you can spend as long as you want with them. But now we will return to our body with the Amen and end the session leaving the Adonai light with the person. Amen. We let go of our visualizations and return to normal awareness. Okay, that's the ritual. It's fairly simple. What may take some time to get used to is the combined awareness and holding that combined awareness while the Adonai light increases. Okay, good luck. Bye-bye.